What, uh, what happened the first nine minutes when the Lord hitting all those threes? Um, I think, I don't, I don't really know. You know, they just came out shooting and uh, and they were hitting some shots, you know, like just driving and kicking and, and they were just hitting some shots to begin with. I think they got it down to 2018. Rick takes a timeout. Y'all are up 20 at the break and start with a 19 over in the second half. What changed during that timeout or what was said or what happened? Um, I, um, I mean, we could have started off slow, but uh, I think just getting regrouped and getting focused and, and just knowing what we had to do and just going out there and doing what we practiced. You said you were, felt more confident. Were you able to finally show that a little bit more tonight? Oh, yeah. Um, I think from here each time, it's each day, especially in practice, you know, um, it's just a more building confidence for myself. Um, and it's, it's just, I think the more that helps me, I can help the team and we can become better. Talk about E. Ponds, man. It continues to show his athleticism out there. Talk, talk about some of the things he brings to the table. Um, oh, man. I, I was I was boxing out on that one, and I just – I knew it was coming off. And it, was, it just came off perfect. And he can and he can jump out of the gym like everybody knows. And so I think I think that what he brings to the table just helps us tremendously. I mean, for one, he's strong and uh, and hard to box out, and then he's really athletic. So so he can get in there and get get lots of rebounds for us, which helps us out. Do you sense or see that opponents really don't understand his athleticism, and they're just kind of surprised or even in awe or, or shook by that? I think so. Um, I, I really don't think that they knew how athletic he was, especially when he went up for that tip dunk. So uh, him having him as like a secret weapon is, is good. <laughs> Tonight, kind of what Kyle can be. Oh yeah, um, Kyle has Kyle's been working hard um, the whole time he's been here, and so just to see him succeed and, and just knowing that he can do that night in, night out, um, it's going to be huge for him. And then if he does that, it's going to make our team so much better. How high is the ceiling for him? A guy with his wingspan, his height, that runs the way he runs, kind of now has the body to support it. I think there's no, I think there's no ceiling for Kyle. You know, he's he's putting in work. Um, like I said, the whole time he's been here, and I just, the more he works and just the mental side, physical side, you know, just listening to coach. I think he can be as good as he wants to be.